everyone, welcome back to my bathroom for another probably clumsily executed demonstration of how I do my hair. So let's start from start to finish. I washed my hair with a Colleen Rothschild shampoo, which I don't know when this video is going up, but I'm filming this July 14th. I've been told it's going to be out soon. If it is already out, I will link it below. Then I use the Colleen Rothschild conditioner and then I put it in the Colleen Rothschild hair towel. Admittedly, this towel has been on for about two hours. So my hair is pretty dry, a little drier than I would like. Normally I do heat protectant and I do the Redken One United, but it is all out. It was offered in Prime Day at a really good deal. I did not personally pick it up because I got a PR package from Moroccan Oil and it seemed a little wasteful to order a whole new thing when I have this brand new one. And it's their Perfect Defense Protect Thermal Protection Weightless Formula. Let's give this one a go. I don't think it does as much as far as like detangling and stuff, but it smells nice. Then I'm just gonna comb it gently through. I use this wet brush for wet hair and to just brush my hair. Like it is the only hair brush comb I use. See, the reason why I said I waited too long is see how my hair's starting to dry in like little curls and stuff. We don't want that, which it just means I'm gonna have to probably go in with a flat iron at the very end, which is fine. But if you time it right with the Dyson, you don't. All right, so first things first, I am still gonna do a very quick rough dry. The back of my head's still decently wet. This is the brand new Dyson Airwrap. It's essentially the same concept. It's just that you don't have to switch the heads when you are doing the wrap part, which I never use, so it's a non-issue for me. So this was the original rough dry attachment. You do this all over. Now they have removed that attachment and you have this one. And this one has the rough dry part coming out here. It also has that same flyaway tamer that they've been offering on the hair dryer. So this does double duty depending on how you turn the knob. We're gonna do the rough dry now. It goes pretty quickly, especially if you've left your hair. There we go. In a towel for too long. Now we section it off. Tons of fancy clips. These are my favorite. You can get them anywhere. So first I pop this one off and we're gonna do all the layers with this attachment. It's the smoothing attachment. And I like my setting either medium or high for speed and then highest heat most of the time. Okay, it is voiceover time. Tried using the AirPods as microphones, but the Dyson isn't as loud as a traditional hair dryer, but it's a decent level. Anyway, the focus here is on directing the hair to flip under, so that's why I'm having the hairbrush under my hair. To make it dry faster, you can go on both ends, but focus more so on flipping the hair underneath. It's dry. That's crazy. Great volume. So now we're just gonna keep repeating the same thing. Nothing fancy, just go layer by layer, sectioning it off piece by piece, and focusing on directing the hair to go under, as you can see here. I like to leave the like what would be considered my bangs in the very top, kind of just basically the center of my head for last. So three layers, and then sort of that mohawk, mohawk area. But do you see how much more volume there is? My hair's pretty thin. It's growing in a little bit better, especially right here, but it's not what it was. Using the Dyson Airwrap, it's so user-friendly that for most of the hair drying experience, you don't really have to think about it. You just keep doing the repetitive motions, drying each section of hair. Obviously, you wanna take a little more time on the top layers because those are the pieces that are more visible. And a few key things to remember here that I did not do well. First of all, I kept my hair in the towel too long, so it started to dry into colics and curls. Secondly, which I will stress about 70 more times before the end of this video, I think I just realized, is I forgot to put in all of my styling products. So this isn't really what my hair looks like when I do it on an everyday basis. But when I'm doing the top layer here, I'm not only directing it under, but I'm also directing it up and away from my face. I'm kind of trying to shape the hair a little bit more here. And this is where I really want that style 
to be more apparent. And this is where having a Dyson air wrap with all the attachments is really worth it because this can be done much more easily than with a traditional hair dryer. Also at the back of my head, at the crown, I do like to pull the hair straight up and brush up as I'm drying the back of my head. It's a, an easier way to sort of fake a tease at the crown towards the back of the head, get that volume, a lot more gentle on the hair and a lot more effective as well. I'm barely doing anything as far as styling and the hair is smooth. I don't do like a specific part, it just sort of happens. I just also want you to know I picked out one hair, but this is, look, my hair is not falling out in this. There's like a, a hair, there's one hair. That's it. Versus when I was doing the Revlon, which don't get me wrong, I loved how that styled my hair, but probably did horrible damage to my hair. Um, it would be full of hairs. Now granted, probably gonna get more in this guy because it just grips more, but as someone who is not a hairstylist, doesn't pretend to be a hairstylist, I'm just a suburban mom trying to figure out how to get her hair dry in a decent style. I will show you what I do. It's, there's no plan. As far as the top of my head goes, there's only one plan, a little bit of volume and a lot of smoothness. So the key here is when I'm doing the bang area specifically, I do it under like traditional bangs first, but then ultimately I flip it forward and push it forward so that once I flip my head back over, it sort of fans away from the face. And I just keep doing that over and over for about four minutes until my whole top of the head is dry. You know what I didn't do? Oh my gosh. I didn't put any of my styling products in. That would explain why my hair is not feeling silky. Okay, it's not too late, but I'm gonna put a little bit, a little bit, normally I put a lot more of my styling cream in and a little bit of this. Oh my goodness. Okay, so now this is like the true testament. There is zero <laughs> styling product in my hair. Goodness gracious. And <laughs> told you this is gonna be clumsy. We'll just, especially in the top layer, it's still a little damp. Oh my Lord. This is a true testament to how amazing the Dyson is because I have frizzy, wavy, sometimes curly hair and without any styling products, it was pretty smooth. Okay, now that I have some styling products in, let's just go over the top layer specifically again, just to get it a little smoother. And you'll see, well, in real life, this is real life. This is not just for YouTube. And then I'm just gonna do a quick, just to try to get those ends to turn under. So this is something new I just started doing with my new version of the air wrap. I could have done it before. I just, honestly, I didn't see the tutorial that Dyson had out until recently. After you've gone through your whole head with the smoothing brush, if you really want just a little extra something, go back in layer by layer with the round brush attachment and you can, which is what I did and I've skipped ahead to the very top layer there. And it just gives a little more volume, a little, a lot more smoothness, honestly. And you can just do it enough so that you're just getting the edges, the ends of the hair just bent under a little bit, or you can wind the hair up the shaft and hold it in place and you can get a little more actual curl. Either way, you can really get a blowout look to it without having to go to a salon. And this is why I swear by the air wrap and think it's worth every single penny. So I've gone back to what I was using before I bought the Dyson Corral straightener. This is the Paul Mitchell Neuro one inch styler. There's also 1.25 inch. You may have noticed I haven't recommended the actual Dyson version in quite a while. By the way, this is heated up to 390. Let's, let's straighten as we talk. So this isn't 100% necessary, but it does smooth down the cuticles. It's 102 degrees right now. The humidity is rather high, so I need all the help that I can get to keep my hairstyle straight. I will note though that I have not soaked through my shirt, which I used to do with traditional hair dryers. Air dryers? Hair dryers. Anyway, this is just a quick little run through, just to, especially in the under part, I kind of miss things. I'm not that skilled, let's face it. I find that it, this glides through the hair much more smoothly the Dyson was constantly, the plates were constantly catching on my hair and pulling out my hair. And I'm sure you can tell, I can't afford to lose any hair. And the only real thing going for it was the convenience factor of the cordless factor. Like it was kind of nice to be able to just pick it up. I could walk all over the 
bathroom and do my hair. But the reality is who walks all over a bathroom and do their hair? You're standing in one spot and you're standing in front of the mirror. Now I don't travel, it's not that I don't travel by air. I haven't traveled by air in a really in much. I think once in the last two and a half years. And apparently you can't, you have to like take out the battery, do all these things. If you check it, blah, blah, blah. This is just pack and go. I throw it in my silicone mat. So this is what's sitting on my counter, at least flat. So I can set my flat iron down on it. And then it opens up into a pouch for storage. So it glides through super easily. I've never really been successful curling my hair with any kind of flat iron. This one is maybe glides a little too well, so maybe not ideal if you're into that, but I am very confident in curling my hair with a specific curling iron, the Bioionic, the one inch specifically, the long barrel is key. If you, it's a whole other, I, I think if I've done that video, I'll put it down in the description box and put it up in the eye. But um, the point is, if you've been having problems trying to master curling your hair, I gotta tell you, the, bio, the key is the extra long barrel. It gives you a little more control over what you're doing. So we're just smoothing this sucker down. It would be a little more smooth, silk, and shiny. I have to just keep stressing that if I'd actually use the freaking toiling products, but oh well. You've seen my hair in a gajillion videos and pictures on Instagram. You know what it normally looks like since I've chopped it especially. And that's it. I didn't even have to use really the, oh, well, I got some flyaways, but to be honest, it's July. I've been a little swamped with, you know, the anniversary sale, Amazon Prime days, the 8 million other sales every retailer decided to do. Walmart sales, Target sales, Wayfair sales, cute, okay, lots of sales. So I haven't had time to sit down and watch the videos on how to use that flyaway attachment. So I finish it off with the Oribe Impermeable Anti-Humidity Spray. This is a key. And that's it. I mean, I am as basic as they come. I don't pretend to be otherwise. And the reality is in about 30 seconds, I'll probably just do this. And that's my hairstyle. All right, like I said, there is my clumsy demonstration of how I use the new Dyson Airwrap to style my hair in a sleek and straight way. Key takeaways here. One, don't let your hair get too dry before you actually start styling it. Two, use styling products. That definitely helps. And that's about it. All right, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, if I forgot to address something, just like I forgot to add styling products, let me know in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Bye.